Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, we've all witnessed Meghan's relentless vendetta against the royal family, haven't we? From her calculated moves to undermine the integrity of the monarchy to her blatant attention-seeking antics, it's clear she's hungry for the spotlight, even if it means trampling over the very institution she once claimed to admire. But just when you thought the depths of her deception couldn't get any lower, she and her accomplice, Harry, have been caught red-handed yet again. Let's rewind a bit to the Mother's Day debacle, shall we? Meghan, in a fit of jealousy and spite, orchestrated a cheap ploy to shame Kate Middleton with a digitally altered photo. It was a pitiful attempt to tarnish the image of someone who embodies everything Meghan could never hope to be. Graceful, authentic, and beloved. But oh, the irony. While Meghan was busy pointing fingers and playing the victim, she and Harry were engaging in the very same deceitful practices they accused the royals of. Cue the pregnancy announcement photos, featuring the fabricated backdrop of a whimsical willow tree. Yes, you heard that right. They couldn't even be bothered to find a real tree for their supposedly heartfelt moment. And who spilled the beans? None other than Meghan's photographer pal Mizan Harriman, who nonchalantly admitted to digitally altering the scenery. Talk about a reality check. But hey, why stop there? Let's not forget Meghan's insistence on preserving her freckles for magazine covers or the eerie, uncanny valley vibes of their Time magazine portraits. It's a pattern of deception that stretches as far as their Netflix escapades, where inconvenient truths are conveniently brushed aside in favor of their self-serving narrative. But perhaps the most egregious offense in Meghan's repertoire is her shameless fabrication of her own children. Yes, you heard me correctly. There's a distinct lack of evidence to support the existence of Archie and Lilibet beyond carefully curated photos and vague references. Call me a skeptic, but when the evidence points to high-tech simulations rather than flesh and blood offspring, it's hard not to question the authenticity of it all. So where does that leave us, dear viewers? Are we to believe that Meghan and Harry are simply victims of circumstance, or are they the architects of their own downfall? Personally, I'm inclined to think it's the latter. Megan's penchant for manipulation knows no bounds, and Harry's willingness to play along only reinforces their joint commitment to deceit. But hey, maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe they'll surprise us all with a sudden bout of honesty and accountability. Then again, pigs might fly. Until then, I'll be here, calling out their lies and holding them accountable for their egregious actions. After all, the truth may be inconvenient, but it's the only thing worth fighting for in a world overrun by charlatans and con artists. So, to Meghan and Harry, I say this. Your house of cards may be built on deceit, but sooner or later, it's destined to come crashing down. And when it does, don't expect sympathy from those you've deceived. The court of public opinion may be fickle, but it's also unforgiving. And in the end, the truth always prevails. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.